Rib it up, partners. Frog Detective has hopped into town for this third and final installment of the beloved indie series. Random fact, in Spanish, there's a little saying for when someone has a small cut or injury. You rub circles around the cut and say, sana sana culito de rana. For my non-Spanish speakers, that roughly translates to heel heel frog butt. Don't ask me why frog butt, it just is. In Frog Detective 3, you you are on the case, attempting to slurp up the scum of this desert cowboy county after receiving a mysterious call from the supervisor and meeting number one detective Lobster Cop at this dusty locale. But our inquisitive froggo friend ends up finding more than he bargained for. Meet the silly animals that fill this rough and tough town and help them solve their problems all the while slowly collecting evidence to solve the big mystery. Who stole everyone's hats? Family-friendly fun is abound in this indie darling, offering you more of the same cute art design and characters as the previous games in this series. Enjoy a delightful western soundtrack they'll have you rooting and tooting, playing on mouse and keyboard or controller. It's up to you. The gameplay is a fun and simple combination of chatting up the hatless citizens of the county, taking down notes in your trusty notebook, helping these citizens with problems they have, learning more about how and why the hats disappeared, and using your trusty scooter to explore the secret passages around the town. In this world without crime, where the developer pops in to offer internet safety suggestions, you can spend a delightful couple of hours laughing at the strange, quirky dialogue of the town people. For older and perhaps soulless individuals such as myself, Fraud Detective 3 might be a touch too simple to sink your teeth into. This is of no fault of the game, but I offer it as something to consider. While there are many indie games with a similar aesthetic that touch upon larger ideas and themes, Frog Detective is thoroughly challenging child-friendly fun. Personally, while I did snort a few times at the romantic sloth and the lawful outlaws, this desert was a bit too dry for my taste. Everyone says exactly what they mean, which is great for effective communication, but not so much for suspense and mystery. And at the end of the day, there was no actual difficulty. You go from person to person hearing their stories and quests, and most quests are solved by talking to another person in town that has the thing they want. As an adult, this wasn't very compelling, but I don't think a 29-year-old jaded woman was the target audience. Frog Detective 3 Corruption at Cowboy County will likely not have much of an effect on older audiences, but it is a solid choice for the family this holiday. Oh, and if this is your first title in the series, you can play Frog Detective 1 and 2 by hopping on over to our fanatical link in the description box below. Get yourself two great games and help support the channel.